So you're cheap and you bought this free couch. All it cost you was the price of gas to go get it. You unfold the height of bed and it looks like this. Well, first off, I think, now I don't know, I'm not a, a lazy boy technician, okay? But I think this needs to go over these cross, crossing wires. It makes more sense to me that way. So what we need to do is take all these springs and make sure that they do not easily become untouched from this. There's a metal beam that runs through the bottom here. And what we're going to do is, we're since this spring is missing, I don't know if you can see it, the furthest to this side spring is missing. So we're going to take the next one over and stretch it into that first position. Okay? So now we have good tension here, and then our spring wires are back under the mat, like how I think they need to be. And then we put everything back where it belongs. Now, if there's one like this, like this, where there's a hole, but there's, it's in between two other holes, just go to the next one to the left and just keep going to the left. Uh, I'm sorry if my background is not pretty. I'm, it kind of in between houses right now so so we're gonna run this through make sure we get behind the metal beam which i'll show you on this side since it's exposed right here there's a metal beam so make sure you're hooked onto the metal beam and not the fabric like this spring here this spring's only tied onto the fabric so we're gonna pop it out and Reseat this spring. Now, the mattress for this one's kind of gross. So I went and got another one. And that is a sticker, sh uh, sticker shock story if I ever had one. The sign said $50. And I was like, okay, yeah, 50 bucks? Heck yeah, I can do that. And then... I go and I'm buying this thing and I scan it with the gun and it says 320 bucks. What the heck? <laughs> All these springs are coming at this sideways angle. What we want to do now, once we get this far, at the halfway mark is where you could start on going either direction. I'm going to start going the opposing direction to create tension so I don't fall through because I'm kind of heavy, and that mattress I was telling you about is also kind of heavy. So, so now we have enough tension to bounce this thing, and we're not even done yet. So I can clearly see there is no way I can stretch this spring to this hole. That's just not going to happen. So, and it is a stretch to go this way, which is, again is going to create tension. So we're going to go back to this sideways angle. You only really want one going the opposing way to create tension here, which creates helps finish create tension the rest of the way down. Just kind of makes sense. So what you do now is you stretch them as far over as you can. And if you have ones like this one, which you can't, you can see it. This one's not connected on the other end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so it can never fall off again. So we're still maintaining tension and we can get everything where it needs to be. None of these springs should be sitting like this one is. So let me pop this out. None of them should just be sitting like this. They all need to be at least a little bit stretched out because if they're not, it just means that they're not doing their job. So right here, see where this folds really sharp? That's where the bar ends. So you don't want to be on the bar end and pulling that way, but we're going to be probably about that far from the end of the bar. So we should be all right. 
it's not gonna slide around really. And you should almost be able to put these springs in with just your hands. The first one, don't stretch it to the point where you have to use pliers. Okay. Look at that. Good tension. Now I just do a quick examination of all the other springs. And I see that we're good to go and I'm good to put the new mattress in. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all you beautiful people in the next video.